good morning dear children i welcome you all in english classroom and our today's topic is simple past tense children before this video i have uploaded video of informal letters so if you have any queries regarding that video any doubts you can write in the comment section and in this video we will learn simple past tense children simple past tense is sub topic in chapter number 3 verbs expressing the past all right so let us start this video and see what is the syntax of simple past tense you have to use the subject first then verb second form and then the object this syntax is used for affirmative sentences okay fine now let us discuss uses of simple past tense with the help of examples we saw a movie last night children i have discussed this before also when i had discussed the difference between simple past or present perfect that whenever you will get any time expression okay denoting past time okay then you will use simple past tense now let us see another example we went to a hotel for dinner children this is an example for our first use this is the first use and here these two are the examples these actions has finished before the time of speaking okay so we will use simple past tense now let us move towards another example my grandfather liked a cup of hot milk at bed time children see second use of simple past tense what is written over here used to express some past habit okay now see our third example my grandfather liked a cup of milk at bed time means this is the past habit of grandfather okay this is the past habit of grandfather that is why we are using simple past children i have told you about habits and routines in simple present also all right but here see the difference that here they are saying about some past habit i'm not talking about the regular habit or regular routine okay so this is the past habit if past habit is there then you will use simple past tense now let us see another example i lived in the hostel from 2009 to 2014 children another use of simple past tense where you will use when an action take place over a period of time in the past see the third use of simple past tense it expresses an action that took place over a period of time in the past so now see i lived in the hostel from 2009 to 2014 children this action took place over a period of time in the past so in all the example you just see we are following the syntax subject plus verb second form and the object see here this is the syntax this is the second form of the verb here this is also a subject second form of the verb 
okay here this is the subject second form of the verb all right here this is also the subject and this is the second form of the verb so in all whether the subject is singular with or plural you have to use second form of the verb okay now children our next topic is how to frame questions using simple past tense okay so here again i have written the syntax question word plus did plus subject plus verb first form and the object this is how you'll frame questions using simple past tense okay let us understand with the help of example where did you go see this is the question word here this is the helping verb of simple past tense and then the subject and then verb first form children you need to be very very careful when you will use did because if you are using did in the sentence you have to use verb first form all right because did always take verb first form i told you this is the syntax for affirmative sentence only affirmative sentence see these are the affirmative sentences but if we talk about interrogative sentences we have to use did but you have to use verb first form so here we are framing questions so first you have to use question word followed by did then subject and then verb first form okay fine now see the classification also this is question word this is helping verb and this is this one is subject and this one is the verb first form and don't forget to put question mark at the end i hope children uh, this topic you all are getting properly okay now let us move further see our next example how long did you stay there how long did you stay there again children question word then your helping verb then subject and then rest of the things okay this is again we have used verb first form we cannot say like this how long did you stayed there no if did is there you have to use verb first form children this is a very important part people make mistake in this part okay so you need to be very very careful that if you are using did in the sentence then you have to use verb first form see another example whom did you see at the party again the question word then helping verb did then subject then verb first form see this is verb first form okay i hope children you are getting okay now now move towards the next topic that is interrogative and negative how you will make sentences in interrogative and in negative okay this we will learn in this topic okay now let us understand with the help of example did you enjoy your dinner children when 
यू विल यूज हेल्पिंग वर्ब इन द बिगिनिंग दैट इज इंटरोगेटिव सेंटेंस सो फॉर इंटरोगेटिव यू हैव टू यूज हेल्पिंग वर्ब इन द बिगिनिंग फॉलोड बाई सब्जेक्ट अगैन द वर्ब फर्स्ट फॉर्म एंड देन द ऑब्जेक्ट ओके नाउ सी एग्जाम्पल डिड यू इंजॉय योर डिनर नाउ विल यू बी एबल टू क्लासीफाई दिस इज हेल्पिंग वर्ब then subject then verb first form then your dinner is the object okay children okay now see another example this is example of negative sentence we did not have time to wait for anybody children now see the syntax for negative first you have to use the subject and then the helping verb what is helping verb helping verb is did okay so after subject you have to use did and then not and then verb first form and then the object similarly see in this sentence v is the subject did is the helping verb then not not have time to wait for anybody have is the main verb verb first form time to wait for anybody time is the object okay and these are these are the rest of the information fine children i hope children you are getting the topic properly and if you have any queries regarding the topic please do write in the comment section although everybody is writing i am very happy for this that you all are doing your job so nicely and you are writing your comments you are writing your queries i am very happy with you all children and similarly i hope from uh, other children also those who are writing you keep on writing and those who are not writing please if you have any queries regarding any topic you just go to the video and open that comment box and write wherever you want to okay i'll check and i'll clear your doubt fine children okay now let us see another example she did not eat much again she subject did plus not then eat for first form object is missing i hope children these things are clear to you all and uh, i hope uh, these classes are giving you something to learn at least something to understand and uh, i am trying my level best and uh, you all are cooperating also if you want anything else in this video and uh, one more thing i have decided that after completion of uh, topic i'll give you the presentation so that uh, we all can revise uh, the topics collectively and uh, that is why i have uploaded one presentation also so that is in the form of that is powerpoint presentation and that will help you in uh, revising all the topics and uh, we will meet children in the next video till then you just take care of yourself take care of your family wash your hands frequently hmm don't forget this and have a nice day